A curious hamster, Abu, put his ear to the ground and tried to get under the fence. He successfully pushed his head and front legs through. His tummy, hind legs, and small tail followed. And the hamster found himself on a spacious lawn near a large two-story house. It got dark outside. The tired owners were already asleep in their beds, so there was no light in the windows. The hamster looked around. First, he carefully examined the house. Then he looked at the garage and made sure that there was no one there either. After that, he examined the entire yard. No pets were seen or heard. I am sure to find something tasty here, thought Abu as he ran forward. The hamster began to wade through the thick lawn grass and came across a bright paper cap. On the cap, the following words were written. Alex is three years old. There must have been a big celebration in this house, the hamster concluded. Abu stood on his hind legs and looked at the house again. On the terrace, there was a big round table with the remains of delicious treats. The hamster licked his lips and immediately ran towards the table. At the moment, he was not interested in anything other than the food on that table. He deftly climbed on top of it and began to stuff into both cheeks everything edible that he could find. Leftover popcorn, apple pie crumbs, potato chips. In his mind, Abu congratulated Alex on his birthday and finished the last nut he found. The festive treat was incredibly tasty. Abu yawned and patted his tummy. Now it was time to find a hiding place to sleep. After such a heavy supper, he did not have enough strength to return to his hole, even though he lived in the neighborhood. The hamster saw a basket on the table. It was full of paper napkins and large balloons of different colors were tied to the handles. Abu, with his last bit of strength, climbed onto the basket and fell onto soft paper napkins. There, he fell asleep. After a while, the clear sound of songbirds woke the hamster up. I wonder how long I slept, the hamster asked himself. The sun was already shining high in the sky, and the air smelled like a wet forest. Abu could not understand why it smelled like a forest if he fell asleep in a basket near the house. The hamster got out of the basket and found himself on a branch of a tall tree. How can this be? He wondered, frightened. Apparently, the basket had been blown away by a strong wind at night. 
Abu slept so deeply that he had not even felt it. He was about to get even more scared, but remembered the things that his parents had taught him. The most important thing in such a situation is not to panic. You need to gather your thoughts and try to remember the landmarks which can help you find your way home. Abu once again looked around. It was good that the basket landed on a branch because from high in the tree he could see the whole area. The hamster saw the large bright sign of the diner where his hole was under the porch. It turned out that the wind had not carried the basket far from the city. But even so, the way home was long and dangerous. Abu quickly climbed down to the ground and ran towards the diner. He had to get home before sunset. The hamster ran for a long time along a narrow forest path and soon reached a glade. But suddenly, a huge shadow flew past over his head. Abu stopped and did not move. His legs and little tail shook with fear. The shadow flew over the glade again. And again. It was an eagle. It was flying high above the trees, looking for an animal to eat. What to do? But the hamster remembered the things his parents had taught him. Abu hid under a bush and waited. The eagle flew over the glade several more times and, not having found prey, disappeared. The happy hamster emerged from the bush and ran on. Very soon he came out of the forest and found himself by the side of the road. But there, another danger was waiting for the hamster. Trucks and cars were rushing along the road from all directions. They growled loudly and honked at each other. But the brave Abu did not get confused even in this situation. He looked to the left. Then he looked to the right. He waited for the moment when there were no cars from either direction and quickly crossed the road. Abu did everything right and the next minute he was sitting in the grass on the opposite side of the road. I need to rest, thought the hamster. He took the last nut out of his cheek and decided to have a snack. He had already traveled most of his route. A little ahead, people's houses could be seen, and the hamster caught the fine smell of fresh bread coming from the diner. Abu raised his nose and crept towards the delicious smell. In less than an hour, the hamster had arrived at the diner and dived under the porch. His mom and dad were waiting for him there. Abu told his parents about his adventure, about how he flew away on a basket with the tied balloons and woke up on a branch of a tall tree. How he did not get confused and plotted the best route to get home. He told how he hid from the eagle and boldly crossed the busy highway. 
His mom and dad were happy with their son's return. They praised him for not forgetting the things they had taught him to do in a difficult situation. It was getting dark outside. In the windows of the diner and the houses, lights went out. Cars did not roar on the highway anymore. That night, Abu slept in his warm bed and had sweet dreams. Little one, always be brave like Abu and remember all your parents' instructions. And thanks to them, you are sure to find a way out of any difficult situation. And now, Lie down comfortably in your bed and close your eyes. Sweet dreams. <laughs>